Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to teach you how you can fix the problem with the cluster on this 2004 Porsche Cayenne. All right, let's go. The first thing we have to do, we're going to remove this cover right here. We have to remove this, these covers. These are made of, uh, I believe, aluminum. And we have to remove that one as well. And the other one over here. So once you remove that, there's going to be bolts behind. And also we have to remove this as well because uh, we're going to remove this section right here. It goes over here, over here, all the way over here. That section we have to remove. And the easiest one to remove to put one hand is this one. So, yeah, just, just pull really hard. There's some bolts, I believe, at the bottom. You have to remove... Uh, you know what? No, you don't have to remove that. Just this. And let me just remove this and I'll show you the bolts. Alright, so once you remove those parts already, we're gonna use, I believe it's a Torx 25 to take out these bolts. And I'm wrong, it's a Torx 20. So let me grab that one. Alright, so you're gonna need a Torx 20 and the bolts are right here. You have to remove one, two, there's another one here, three. And there's gonna be two over here, so... You remove those and then we're going to remove this piece right here. All right, let me just go ahead and remove those bolts. All right, so the bolts are removed and actually it's three here. There's another one right here, you'll see it. And once you're removing the upper one, you're gonna see this connector. It goes over here. So just disconnect the other one, which is this one. And the clip to remove it, it's a little tricky. Let me show you why. Um, this thing has a clip instead of pushing it down like this you're gonna push it out like this and it's gonna come out all right the next step is we have to remove this this part right here because we're gonna remove this section you want to use a screwdriver or something like this a plastic uh, prior bar like this so we're gonna remove this one let me see if I can do it right here with one hand so there you go you have to just pry it out and you're gonna see those uh, clips going out as you can see so just pull it gently like that and they're gonna come out they're not too hard so this one needs to go down like that and the next step is now to remove this section right here so for this we have to pull really hard on this section because here is the clip and I believe more are here and the other one is here so I'm gonna remove that one and then I'll show you also if your car has the tilt uh, thing just move the the uh, steering wheel all the way front and I believe all of them have the, this this tilting thing so yeah let's go all right, so I have it out, and before I continue more, I forgot to mention you have to remove this uh, ring. It goes in the steering uh, switch, in the ignition switch, and you just have to spin it like to this way. That way you can get it out and just keep it safe. And when you remove that, you just pull really hard, and this thing will come out very easy. I hope so. <laughs> okay, and you just pull those things down, and then you have this piece out. So now you have those bolts right here that you have to remove, and you have to remove the upper part first. For that one, you just pull down like this, and it will come out. There are some clips that are difficult, but it will eventually come out. So. I'll do it with my both hands, so hang on tight. All right, so the part is out, and you have to pry really, really hard because these things are really tight. So once you have the part, now you can remove the bolts, and we'll, we're gonna have the the unit out. And that's pretty much how you remove the uh, the cluster. Let me just go all the way to the final section just to show you that it will come out. I'll remove these bolts and then I'm gonna have the cluster out. Alright guys, so 
the cluster is almost out and you have to remove by the way all the bolts over here because if you because if you just remove the bolts right here it's not gonna come out so you have to remove the, the other ones on the side and you have to lift this it has clips by the way you just lift it a little bit and it will eventually come out and don't forget to unplug the plugs right there it's only two of them and that's pretty much how you remove the uh, the cluster okay so we have the cluster here and the only thing we have to remove is some bolts on the back you don't have to remove these bolts right here so just flip it and you have to remove this ones right here on the side and once those are removed you just have to unclip it from this okay done you just lift it like this and now we have you don't have to do this because you have tension on this side so you need to remove this this connector inside so for that we're gonna use this and just gently go inside and remove it and there you go it's removed now you just gotta unplug this this is the speaker so make sure you're you don't lose the orientation of this because you don't want to put it on the wrong side so just pull it like this make sure it's gonna go like this record it take a picture of it so the red must point this way all right so we move this aside and now we have to remove the connector so for this you don't have to pull really hard you have to do this just gently pull the tab on the side okay so you see it's out make sure this is all the way out and next step we flip it now we have to remove this part and by the way I have the other LCD right here just flip it and we have to remove these sections right here these clips so for that pull this and the clips are gonna be here inside you have you have to find them as you can see just this one there's one out and the other one is right here there you go so we need to find the last one and it's pretty simple just go like this like that and the other one same thing and there you go you have the the section of the cover out make sure you don't put it back like me See, it's out, and now we have to remove the screen, just this one only. As you can see, this is the screen, it's out. So now we get our new screen, we take this away, and we put back our new LCD screen. So I'll leave the link in the description where I bought this for a really good price, and actually the tier is right here but I just like it to do it this way on the top all right so we remove our new LCD screen and by the way most parts are made in China so don't be pretty new to this most parts are built over there and people say oh parts from China are not good but believe it or not Check your open your Apple your um your Apple if you don't believe me open your your Apple iPhone or your phone and you're gonna see that most parts are made in China 
and the reason is because they're cheaper and they're actually good it's just that people give them bad bad looks on it so yeah okay so we have the screen here and I believe it's gonna go like this so we have to remove it comes with this to protect it so once that's removed uh, we're gonna be able to put it back we see this one doesn't have any so the pack needs to be removed first like this so once it's removed you have to put it back but really gently like this all right so once that's done now you can remove the the plastic cover like that make sure you don't touch it because you don't want your hands in it so just grab it from the edge and touch the other end like that okay so once it's removed now you can put back this okay yeah it's the wrong side so yeah needs to go like this and you just push it in until it clips like that make sure it clicks all the way in and make sure you don't you're not uh, damaging the board like me I'm doing something wrong and it's going to the other side so I'm gonna take my time and do it all right looks like it's good and nope it's not working this this way so I have to remove it again and start from the beginning so apparently what I have to do is align the screen with this and make sure the screen is aligned too because if you don't put it right you're gonna end up breaking it and all this work will be for nothing so let me just align it right And yeah, I'm not aligning the I'm not aligning the screen right. So yeah, that's that's the issue. Let's see that this time. Let's see if I succeed. All right, so we have successfully aligned this. It's already in. And now it's time to put the connector back. Make sure your gauges are the same way they were. You flip it and then we're gonna put back the connector. So for this, we just put it like this and we push it in make sure it's all the way in so now you can now put this inside and there we go looks like it's aligned but make sure it's all the way in Give it a second pass, make sure it's not doing anything wrong. 
So yeah, looks like it's good. I think we're good. So now I'm gonna just put it in. And there we go. So it's aligned now. Make sure it's not gonna hit anything. It's good. All right, so we're good. All right, next step is put it back together. And for this, we have to do the opposite thing. Remember what I told you about this, the speaker. The red must face this way to the capacitor. So we're gonna put the red like this. Actually, you don't have to put it like that. Just put it here like this that's the only thing you have to do you don't really have to put it there so you just put it there like this facing this way and now we're gonna align it like this and it should slide in pretty nice and you can see it on this hole right here so I'll just do it probably off camera because I have to see looks like it's good it was straight and gotta make sure yeah it's really hard now so it's successful in there all right so make sure the gitches are back to its place now the next step is to put the cover on top and if you want you can give it a clean before you put it back Cool. So now we're gonna put it into the car and let's see what happens. Let's go. So now we're gonna test the let's see the screen. All right. So we see the screen is appearing. We open it and boom, fixed. Okay. So the screen is working and this is how you fix the LCD screen on this 2004 Porsche Cayenne. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and like. And I'll see you next time.